Good day, everyone, and welcome to Digital Dreams ICT Academy YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about how to choose the best ICT course for you. But before we do that, I would like you to do one thing. I would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video so that you get notifications anytime we upload new and exciting videos. Today, we are going to discuss about how to choose the best ICT course for you. So the very first thing why this is important is that many persons come to me and say they are confused about choosing the right ICT skill that they have to learn. And the very first question I usually ask them is, where lies your passion? What are you passionate about? What are your interests? Because it is always good if you choose a skill that aligns with your passion. So if you are passionate about programming, or are you passionate about graphic design, or producing animation, or analyzing data, you need to look at what are you passionate about? What do you feel you can do comfortably without hitting it? I'll give you an example. In programming, and in most ICT courses, for instance, you might need to stay in one place and be able to create codes that instruct a computer system. Or takes time to actually stay in a system and design beautiful graphics. So if you have a passion of working and creating things, it will blend well with what you want to do. But if your passion means that you need to be able to meet people and talk to different persons and maybe travel to different areas, you might notice that you might not find uh, coding and many of the ICT courses quite interesting. So you should be able to ask yourself if you are passionate about any of the skills you want to learn. And also, you should be able to ask yourself if that skill blends with what you have flair for. There are many persons who have natural abilities on things. I'll give you an example. If somebody has a natural ability in drawing and arts, it will be quite much easier for the person to develop a skill like graphic designing or even animation, right? So you see, if you have also a skill about looking at data, analyzing things, and thinking analytically, you will notice that maybe that analysis might be perfect for you. If you are excited about solving problems, right, you will notice that something like programming will be something you might quite interest in. So even if you have a passion for programming, you should also ensure that your innate skill blends with the skill you are choosing. Because it makes no sense that you can't analyze or you don't have a problem-solving ability and you really want to actually be a programmer because programming is all about solving problems. So apart from these two, as we have discussed now, the next thing you need to also look at, which is important, is what are the opportunities in the chosen skill you are want to learn? Not every of these ICT skills do have equal opportunities. So you need to ask yourself, what are really the opportunities, right? And you understanding the different opportunities that these ICT skills have will make you know if it's something that can be lucrative and sustain you as a career. So that you don't just do it as a hobby, right? Now, apart from also looking at what are the opportunities, you also need to look at if those skills are quite in demand. Because if they are in demand, it means that the opportunities will be numerous and it can be lucrative for you to be in there. But if they are not in demand, you notice that probably it is something that will fizzle out. Another aspect you need to look at is, even if it's in demand, will it be available? Will it actually also be lucrative in the future? Some of the jobs we have now can be wiped out by advanced AI systems in the future. So, if your job requires just repetition, it will be quite interesting to know that advanced AI system might wipe it out in the future. And that is important. You should also be looking at the amount of creativity that is involved in the scale you are looking at. Because if there is no creativity in it, probably one day, you notice that robots can be able to do that and you won't have any career anymore. 
These are the things to look at. But after you have looked at this, what are really the steps if you really have to choose the career? The very first thing you need to do and check out is one, you need to research about the chosen career, ICT course. If you say you want to learn web development, or you want to learn mobile application development, or you want to learn animation or graphic design, or any other ICT course whatsoever, you should take your time to research about it. Research is quite important. Why it's very important is that that gives you a whole lot of broad knowledge on the things you are about to start. Apart from researching, you should also be able to join discussion forums concerning that course. So if you want to learn graphic designing, it will make sense if you actually join a discussion forum on graphic designing or a discussion forum on web development, or a discussion forum on mobile application development, as the case may be, right? Another part also is find a mentor. If you have looked at your innate skill and also the um, passion you have, you need to also look at the opportunities that are available by learning a particular ICT skill. Not every skill has equal opportunities. There are some skills that are in high demand, and there are some skills that are quite in low demand. A career in AI or machine learning has a high demand. Data analytics has quite a high demand. Mobile application development has also quite a high demand. And so it is also the, the demand and supply issue also comes in. Because when more people have this skill, the supply will actually what outbeat the demand. So if you are in a particular niche scale where there are no much persons there, but it's quite needed, you actually notice that it becomes much more lucrative and it becomes much rewarding doing that if it's also your passion and a place where you have an innate skill. Another area you need to also look at while you are choosing your career in, in tech is also what is the long-term prospect of that skill. There are skills that are ephemeral, a skill that with time will actually become quite not necessary because many persons will actually have that skill. There was a point in time where people can become secretaries and they are good typists and typing was a very, very necessary uh, skill, but not any longer. There was a point in time when um, being able to use Excel and use it quite well was a very important skill, but not quite much is needed now. And also, you should also look at if the particular skill you are working on right now, or you're about to learn right now, can be taken over by artificial intelligence. Because basically, something like designing basic websites can now be done by advanced AI systems. And once advanced AI systems comes over, to take over all these things. It becomes very, very difficult to compete with them. And some of these jobs will actually what? Fizzle out with time. The next step is please find a mentor in the specific skill you want to learn. A mentor guides you and also help you not to make mistakes or repeat the same mistake. And also encourage you when the learning gets hard. Also, a good mentor will be able to point you to opportunities when you have actually finished learning. And the next one will be also, if you see competitions within the skills you are actually trying to learn, please try to join because by competing, you will actually what, get better. And lastly, you can always come to Digital Dreams ICT Academy to learn any different skill you want from web designing, uh, mobile application development, animation to data analytics to a whole lot of new and exciting ICT courses. We hope to see you as we help you make this journey to have an ICT career. Thank you.